Today in Detroit, I wear my prison dumb with honor. Why? We'll let Sam Riddle answer that question and others in a minute. But first, because he's known for pointed commentary, Riddle can always find an audience and an outlet like radio to reach it. I expect it to be very lively with Sam Riddle in the game. Sam Riddle is for now keeping a low profile. He's allowed to check out of the Fed's halfway house to work, run errands, and work out almost daily at the downtown Y. And that means he will mingle. Kwame Kilpatrick and Sam Riddle just happened to meet, you know, by serendipity on a Detroit street. Former Detroit Mayor Kwame Kilpatrick and three co-defendants walked daily to the courthouse to stand trial on corruption charges. Sam Riddle was in the same position on trial two and a half years ago. The mayor um, hollered out to Sam and he embraced Sam and they gave each other the guy hug. Riddle pleaded guilty to taking bribes while working as chief of staff for Detroit City Council member Monica Conyers. She's also doing federal prison time. She's due out next year. Riddle was also convicted of pulling a shotgun on his longtime friend Mary Waters when she caught him in bed in her house with a younger woman. Waters declined comment for this report. Riddle's path back into the community includes where he can find salvation and redemption, the King Solomon Baptist Church in Detroit's Midtown. This past Sunday service was held in a small community room. You know, Sam Riddle, Detroit is almost as popular as Barack Obama, so I'm not surprised to see cameras here tonight. Even though he has his right to free speech, Riddle would not answer our many questions. And even though I can't talk to the media right now because I technically still belong to the Bureau of Prisons to January the 29th, I am not stopped from coming here and giving testimony. Riddle knows not to rock the Fed's boat and mess up an early release on good behavior. But I think that people are forgiving and they will acknowledge Sam for his gifts that he's brought. And I think that uh, he is remorseful. And I think that life moves on. And one frequent outlet for Sam and his voice before he went away to prison was talk radio, television, and the news. Today in Detroit, I wear my prison dumb with honor. Why? Because there are more graduates of the University of Prison, more alumnus of the University of Prisons than there are alumnus of Michigan State, Wayne State, University of Detroit. Sam Riddle is 66. He has a pacemaker helping control his heart. His gut instinct still controls his life. And you're going to watch us do some things here that are definitely going to rock the Detroit boat. So just stay tuned. Thank you. And out here live, Sam Riddle has been out of prison only two weeks. He came from a prison in North Carolina. He was in a halfway house here in Detroit, but now he's in supervised home detention. And all of the restrictions, including doing media interviews, will be lifted if he remains on good behavior at the end of January. Stephen.